there will always be hierarchies, you know, uh, whether it's kind of like uh, literary fiction and fantasy fiction, you know, and like one considers itself superior to the other. Um, novels versus other genres, writing versus comics. Is there some uh, alternative that's possible that isn't about this is better than that? Of course, like there will always be people that will be like, oh, this is better than this and that is better than that. But a creator like me, mm -hmm. all I see is, okay, I can tap from there, I can tap from there, and then I can tap from there and I can mix and match and I can I just have a much larger medium to draw inspiration from expounding on that um, I recently just finished a book that was 285,000 words long the book was technically beautifully written it was boring as all get out because it had taken <laughs> inspiration uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. from too many places that I had recently read it felt like I just picked up the same book again and started from page one yeah. so nothing felt exciting and new until like the last 10 percent so that brings up the question is is it better to be original and pop the bubble or just good have you heard this uh, idea of at this point nothing is original it's a testament to the skill of the writer as mm -hmm. to how he interprets his inspirations the more you write the, the creator in you starts carving out something that's different from everything else i think it was bruce lee learn everywhere and then make it your own basically the challenging question of is it is it better to be original or is it better to be good like kind of like recombining what's already out there. Even the idea of being original uh, came from a certain point in literary history. And it was like the early 19th century with the Romantics, capital R, Romantics. Like before that in the Renaissance, the idea was not that we needed to be original. What we did was we recombined existing things. And there wasn't as much of a desire uh, to be original. Like that really arose with this idea that we weren't as writers just reflecting the world in like recombining ways, uh, synthesizing things, but that we were shining a light outwards from ourselves that was our creativity. Uh, I think about other cultural producers, like for example, uh, Quentin Tarantino. Uh, and when people think about Kill Bill or like other works, they think about how Tarantino kind of like brings together all these things and mashes them together and creates Kill Bill, which references Westerns, references obscure kind of like martial arts movies and all this kind of stuff. Um, and for some people, that might be a delight. It's like, it's postmodern. It's like, you know, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. Uh, but for other people, you know, it might just be like, well, I understand these references, like I, I know where these are coming from, but it doesn't bring me particular joy. The point I'm going to make here is that even books like that have a place. So me, for instance, Aragon, when I read Aragon, it was one of the first fantasy books I had ever read. A lot of readers, you know, discount Aragon. It's like, oh, Aragon is derivative of this. And he just like plagiarized this. And after reading those books that they said it plagiarized, I can 100% see it. I'd like, I can't even argue with it. But me being a 12-year-old, you give me a book. I don't know anything about fantasy. I read Aragon. And it was amazing. It was, it was I was like, what is this? I was like, what? this is, you know, 20 years from now, our kids, what is going to get them into fantasy? It wouldn't mm -hmm. matter if the first book they read was the original idea or an idea that was derivative. See, I was given The Hobbit at 11. <laughs> 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 are you self-publishing? Are you track publishing? What kind of publishing are you doing? If you want to understand why self-publishing may be better for you, specific to your writing, and uh, the three of us talk about it on this video here. So listen and decide for yourself. Check out Andrew's socials, check out Ray's socials, stay epic and peace.